we will rejoice. We will be glad in it because we trust in our God. We trust in our God. Uh, don't trust in anything else but God. Settle that right now in the name of Jesus that I trust in God. Um, I just woke up this morning uh, with a just a sense of just warning everybody to make sure you don't start trusting everything else, God. There are going to be things that are going to try to tempt you to, to trust those things more than you trust God. Uh, follow instructions from somewhere else and ignore the instructions from God. Now is the time to benefit from an intimate relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the world is in confusion. They do not know what to do, how to do, when to do, they're doing the best they can. It's time for the body of Christ to provide the light. I say like the scripture says, arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen up upon thee. Rise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. And I'm telling you right now, uh, I just believe that, that this is the time. We are the light uh, because we're in Jesus. And, uh, you know, now pay attention to him. Pay attention to him. Pay attention to Jesus. What is God saying? Be the barefooted priest. What is God saying? Lots of suggestions are going to come up. What is God saying? What is God saying? Now is the time to make our minds up that we are going to walk in the presence of God. We're going to walk under the directions of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says the Holy Spirit will show you all things to come. And um, if you pay attention to him, he will help you avoid traps. He will help you to avoid situations. Don't don't get your life instruction instructions from the news. Get your life instructions from the good news, the word of God. Amen. And let the word lead you and guide you. So that's all my heart to share with you this morning. Be sensitive to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. He will not lead you into a ditch. He will not lead you into lack. He will not lead you into trouble. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. You have an ear to hear from him. You are his sheep. You can hear him. He knows you. Another voice you will not follow. Set your thinking right there. I'm going to find out what the Holy Ghost has to say. Pause before you decide to do something. Find out what the Holy Ghost has to say. It, this may sound very simple, but I'm telling you, if you'll begin to, to set yourself to this and, and make a quality decision that my house, we will be led by the Holy Ghost. Um, stay in Goshen. Don't let somebody pull you back to Egypt where there was not enough straw to make brick. Stay in Goshen. Don't let somebody pull you back to Egypt where there is no light. Stay in Goshen, the land of more than enough. The land of more than enough. Praise God. Uh, good morning, everybody. I had to get that off my chest. Good morning, Harvey Graham. God bless you, Crystal Pierce. We're glad to have you guys with us this morning or good evening, wherever you may uh, be joining us from or some of you, you know, a good night. I'm telling you in Jesus name, God is on the move. A great awakening is about to take place on this planet and God will get the glory. God will get the glory. Every man are trying their best to try to take the credit for this good that God is about to bring, but God will get the glory and he's ready to use you. You were born for a time such as this. And I'm telling you right now, it should be like this. Those of us who are in Goshen, we should not be experiencing the same things that everybody else is going through. Now, sure, it's it's hard, it's, it's challenging, it's somewhat difficult and different in a lot of situations. But we rise above all that stuff. And even though we may be going through some things, we rise above those things because of whose we are and who we are. So good morning, everybody. God bless you. Let's go ahead and set our day in Psalms 91. Repeat after me. I declare 
that I will dwell in the shelter of the most high God. I declare that I will find rest in the shadow of the almighty. I declare that God is my refuge and my fortress. I declare that you are my God in whom I will trust and with great confidence in whom I will rely. I declare that God will rescue me from every trap and protection uh, uh, and, and will protect me from every disease. I declare that I'm covered and protected by his outstretched arms. I declare that God's faithful promises are my armor and my protection. I declare that I will not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor of the arrows that fly in the day. I declare that I will not dread any disease that stalks in the darkness, nor any disaster that strikes at midday. I declare that because God is my refuge and the almighty God of my home, no evil can befall me and no plague can come near my dwelling. I declare that God has ordered his angels to guard, defend, and protect me and my house. I declare that God's armies of heaven will keep me from falling. I will walk unharmed and kick anything that is evil from my path. I declare that because of God's love for me, I will call upon him. He will set me above all my troubles. He will deliver me from all my fears and he will honor me with his presence and power. I declare that he will reward me with long life and he will show me his salvation. Amen, amen. Praise God, you're set and ready to go. Psalms 91, all is well with you. Now, today I am gonna focus on being delivered from any kind of financial problems and the panic and the fear of it. Let's make this confession of our faith right now in the name of Jesus, ready? Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Christ has redeemed me from poverty. Christ has redeemed me from sickness. Christ has redeemed me from spiritual death. For poverty, he has given me wealth. For sickness, he has given me health. For death, he has given me eternal life. It is true unto me according to the word of God. I delight myself in the Lord, and he gives me the desires of my heart. I have given, and it is given unto me. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, men give unto my bosoms. I prosper and have success in the midst of a pandemic. With what measure I meet, it is measured unto me. I sow bountifully, therefore I reap bountifully. I give cheerfully, and my God has made all grace abound towards me. And I, having all sufficiency for all things, do abound to all good works. There is no lack. For my God supplieth all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. 
and I do not want. Why? Because Jesus was made poor, that I through his poverty might have abundance, for he came that I might have life and have it more abundantly. And I, having received abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, do reign as a king in life by Jesus Christ. The Lord has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant and Abraham's blessings are mine. Therefore, I speak to every mountain. I speak to the mountain of sickness, fear, anxiety, discouragement, stress, depression, oppression, jealousy, bad temperament, anger, tiredness, laziness, unbelief, doubt, addictions, struggles, hindrances, unforgiveness, poverty, lack, insufficiency, hardness of heart, spiritual blindness, spiritual deafness. And I say, be removed and cast into the sea in Jesus' name. I expect the best day of my life today, spiritually, emotionally, relationally, physically, materially. Today in Jesus' name, I expect to prosper and to be in health even as my soul prospers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Man, I want you to get yourself stirred up. We are going to take it to the enemy today. No fear. Now, I want to talk to you about overcoming, and we're going to pray a prayer concerning overcoming a financial attack. Now, you might not have had a financial attack. It, it's not knocking on the door, but if it does, we might as well go ahead and get prepared. So. Let's go ahead and give heaven a permit to intervene on our behalf. And so when things happen, don't get, don't go to panic. Don't go to frustration. Don't close your ears to God. Now I'm taking a portion of this out of Galatians chapter six and verse nine. And here's what I want to meditate on with you today. And let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Or in due season, we shall, we shall harvest or reap if we don't give up, cave in, and quit. So Satan is going to try to attack your uh, steadiness, your steadfastness, your patience. And you just, what you believe today, believe it tomorrow. What you would believe before a financial issue, believe it in the middle of a financial issue, that's called fighting a good fight of faith. Don't let go of what you know to be true and don't let fear come in. So let us not be weary in well-doing. In due season, we shall reap if we don't give up, cave in, and quit. So it's not if you're going to reap, but when. Amen. Now I'm going to. We're going to pray this prayer out loud together. Repeat after me. Lord, thank you for showing me today how to respond to the financial attacks that I am experiencing or that I may experience in my life. Please help me know where to sow an extra financial seed right now. Help me to sow it by faith confidently expecting it to break the strange stranglehold that has been on my financial situation. Satan, I rebuke you. Get off my finances. 
get off my emotions. Get away from my family. Satan, I command you to take your hands off my finances. I am a giver and therefore a receiver of God's promised blessings. You have no right to exercise any control over my money and my possessions. I tell you to go in Jesus name. Father, I thank you for honoring your word and causing my situation to turn around. I thank you in advance for the abundance that is going to start flowing into my life. I am secure in you. You are my supply house. If I lose my job, I expect promotion and a greater job, but I will not fear. Help me, Lord. I trust you. I need you. I depend on you right now in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. No fear. No fear. Don't let money become the most important thing in your life. Don't don't allow yourself to trust it more than you trust God. Don't allow yourself to allow your need for money to cause you to be more committed to getting it than you are committed to God. God knows how to take care of his children. Don't leave him. Stay with him, praise the Lord. Now let's make this confession of our faith. Ready? I confess that I am an overcomer. Difficult circumstances do not control my life or my obedience. Instead of surrendering to the attacks that are assailing my finances, I am going to throw a knockout punch at the face of the devil. At this critical moment, I am going to sow and believe God and I'm gonna break the devil's stranglehold on my life. Once I obey what the Holy Spirit is telling me to do, I will boldly command the devil to take his foul hands off my finances. It won't be long before the seed I sow is multiplied back into my life. Then, I'll stand in the manifestations of God's blessings. I declare this by faith in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, amen. We know what to do. We're not, we're not, you know, sitting around in fear. We know what to do. We've been knowing what to do. We, we know how powerful it is, how seed it can, can, can cause a harvest. We know how to believe God. We know how to release our faith out for what God has already done for us. We know how to worship God and give God thanks for uh, all of the things he's done. We know how to worship him with our finances. We know how to bring a gift to God. Don't, don't fear. No, a lot of you have seed in the ground already. No fear. Remember what I said at the beginning. Don't ignore the voice of God. Don't push God to the side. Tune in to what he's saying to you today. The Lord may speak some things to you today that you, you, you won't see benefit until the future. God's getting everything taken care of right now. If you'll just listen to him, just listen to him and be willing to cooperate with him. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe that you will find yourself in an amazing place. We are the people of God. We are the body of Christ and we do not fear or panic concerning the reports of lack and financial distress. We trust God. Let me leave you with this. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding, but in all thy ways, acknowledge him. Here's the part I want you to get. And he will direct our path. Amen. You have a great day today. 
Rejoice in the Lord always. And I again, I say rejoice. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm going to go outside and shout just a minute. Praise God. I, maybe you need to go find you a shouting place. Just by two, three minutes, go in the bathroom or go in the room so nobody won't think you lost your mind and just shout. Praise God. Somebody says, well, I used to do that at church. Well, praise God. You're the church. Go and shout and rejoice and let that devil know you are not afraid of him. All is well. Somebody said, man, pastor, you kind of stirred up this morning. I am stirred up this morning because I will not back down off the enemy trying to inflict fear on us, getting us afraid. God takes care of us emotionally. He takes care of us spiritually. He takes care of us physically. He takes care of us financially. My God will not let you down. Be encouraged today. God bless you. I'll see you in the morning.